So bringing up the young is a very demanding business indeed. And in most birds, it requires the full-time labor of both male and female. But one or two birds manage to avoid it altogether. And one of them is a regular visitor to this reed bed in England. A cuckoo, and she's raiding a reed warbler's nest. That's one of the reed warbler's eggs gone. And while she holds a second in her beak, shuddering with the effort, she lays one of her own. The match is near perfect. The cuckoo's is the one at the front. The reed warblers don't notice the difference and continue incubation. The cuckoo has timed her action with care. She laid her egg immediately after the female reed warbler laid the last of hers, but it develops much faster and will hatch three or four days before the legitimate eggs do. The young cuckoo, blind and naked, now deals with the remaining warbler eggs. Two weeks later, the monstrous young cuckoo is so big that it can no longer fit inside the tiny nest. Its brilliantly coloured gape, together with its call that mimics the sound of a whole brood of warbler chicks, constitute a demand for food that the warblers find irresistible. The European cuckoo's habit is so famous that we tend to think it's the only bird to behave in this way. But there are birds in half a dozen other families that do so as well. Here in Argentina, brown hooded gulls are nesting. Gulls are so vigorous and enterprising that they might seem the last birds likely to be tricked, but on occasion they are. A duckling. Its true parents, cuckoo ducks, are far away from the nest where they dump their egg. Their offspring will never see them, just as they never saw their parents. The duckling cannot know that it's quite different from the baby gull which has now hatched out alongside it. Nonetheless, something tells it that it must not stay with this other nestling. On its very first evening, it leaves. Unlike the cuckoo, it makes no further demands on the bird that incubated it. Even though it's only a few hours old, it's perfectly capable of fending for itself.